How's it going, guys? It's Welsh here, and welcome back to a Real Sociedad career moment. Today, it is the end of the season. <laughs> this kind of episode is more of a season recap, you can actually say, because what it was, I was uh, launching, I launched the career mode, essentially, I launched it, and I was a bit like, actually, we've kind of done what we've had to do, <laughs> we became stalemate for the final three games of the actual series, so guys, make sure you hit that like button, do not forget to actually subscribe, uh, but anyway, right, let's get back into this episode, so as I was actually saying, is that we became very stalemate with our team. We were locked in the mid-table position, which is kind of a little disappointing, if I'm truthfully honest, because that was our target, to be fair, right? It was our target. However, however, may I add, is that we normally, to be fair, excel at our targets. And for some reason, we didn't really do that with this team. Possibly one of the worst results I've ever had as a team. We've never been in a relegation battle at all with a team. And we never really finished mid-table. So it was kind of an interesting one because it was kind of... We started getting so far into the season and our... our um, what, do you, what can you say? Our future was actually stalemate. It was done. It was actually sorted. So I did end up simming the last few games just because we were stuck in our 10th position. We couldn't go up. We couldn't go down, essentially. We couldn't get relegated. But however, we were only 10 points from relegation. So we could have been relegated uh, if we lost a few games. And then the likes of uh, Sporting and Getafe started picking up a few points. But that kind of was inevitable and that wasn't actually happening. So hey, we got lucky on that forefront. But let's have a quick look at some of the actual uh, top goal scorers. Um, top assists and stuff like that. But obviously no surprise. Top ones up there is Suarez and Neymar. And kind of Suarez kind of leading the show with 19 goals, 18 for Neymar. Messi actually nowhere to be seen, which is a little bit of a surprise. Is he even in the league? That's a shocker. I think I think Messi has actually been sold from Barcelona. And I don't know how to approach that. Messi has been sold from Barcelona. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we kind of... That was uh, proven... Like, we didn't exactly... Speaking of top goal scorers, we didn't exactly have... Brilliant top goal scorers. Let's be truthfully honest. Like we we brought in a few new players. We brought in youngsters, so we did take the gamble of actually seeing what we can do. However, it wasn't paying off. So what can we do there? We started changing formations around. We started changing a lot of everything around. If I'm truthfully honest, and we got like I mentioned then, we kind of we've we've come in that stalemate essentially, and we can't really solve it. We couldn't solve it at all. So that's why those final few games were simmed. And you see. In the actual statistics, and you see in our squad report, which is coming out right now, is that no one really outperformed that well, if I'm truthfully honest. Like, no one was absolutely amazing. Like, normally it's a star player. The only player really stood out for me was Vargas, which was that guy, the youngster. Possibly going to bring him in in our new career mode. Might try someone else. Probably end up trying someone else, if I'm honest. However, the thing is, is that... No one stood out. It was like we brought in all these young players that had potential to be amazing. Even Martinez, who was one of our highest rated players this season, didn't actually do too well. <laughs> like, he didn't. Even when we started trying to bring it to start older players, different players, they weren't doing well at all. So, I think with this particular Karimo, if we was going to do a full recap on it, I think we kind of avoid Real Sociedad or... I don't know, we take a slightly different approach on it. Uh, kind of determine a formation. Like, I started enjoying 4-4-2, change players, don't sign the players that we did. So maybe the players that we signed were actual issues. So we don't rely on these youngsters for, on the first season. We get some older players in, then we rely on a substitute. So maybe that's a problem. Maybe we sort that out next time. But anyway, guys, my name is Walsh Ryan DSG, and I'm excited now as we have got a brand new career mode coming up very very soon this friday we'll have a trailer out on wednesday hope you all do enjoy it guys my name is welsh dragon dsg don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and make sure you check me on twitter at welsh dragon dsg and my previous videos coming up now Peace out.